to our continuing coverage of Black History Month this morning. Art has a unique power of bringing people together by helping us learn about ourselves and cultures that are different from our own. Sheldon Dutez joins us now. And Sheldon, a local artist hopes that he can unite several generations through his art. Yeah, Patrick knows is a Longwood-based Haitian-American painter and sculptor who hopes that his art inspires younger generations to strive for greatness. Art is love to me. Patrick Nose communicates that love with each brushstroke of his paintings, masterpieces that are a love letter to his culture. I'm very into painting Haitian women. Or the memories that help shape him. I'm showing not only my Haitian culture, but what have, have, what have I experienced here in America as a child with kids throwing uh, water from the fire hydrant to Monet's impressionistic style. To and one of the things I appreciate and notice is that you incorporate texture into a yes. lot of your paintings. <laughs> uh -huh. Tell me about that. Well, as a sculptor, I am a feeler. I feel. So I, I encourage people to touch my paintings. I took Spanish moss, for example. That passion for sculpting and art started at a young age while watching his dad, who was also a sculptor. When I was five years old, he started I would watch him sculpt, except though when he's sculpting, I would get a miniature piece of wood with a razor blade that I would take from his shaving uh, tools, and I would create what he's attempting to create faster than he would. Patrick's family left Haiti when he was in elementary school, but his passion to create art remained a constant through line throughout his childhood in New York. His talents led him to the prestigious Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, where he received a fine arts degree and navigated obstacles along the way. The only thing is, I was the only one of my kind almost in those classes. And what do you mean by that? Being a black person pursuing an art degree. So I would enter the classroom, they would assume that I was either the janitor who came to maybe pick up the trash. At one point, once they, they pointed, oh, the trash is over there. I said, well, that's good to know. I'll know where to put my, my waste. Patrick took his classical training and adapted it to tell his own stories through his art. He eventually moved to Florida in the 90s and teaches art at the Nose Art Studio in Longwood. This is the refugee painting. He's also the senior curator at Crayolde School of Art in Winter Park, where he gave us this tour of his work. Some of Patrick's other paintings are also on display at the Orange County Administration Building, where people of different races and cultures gathered to learn more about Patrick and Haiti through his art. And last year, Patrick's paintings were on display at the Hannibal Square Heritage Center, which focuses on African-American history here in Central Florida. When we think of black history, when we think of Juneteenth, we also think of the contributions that have been made, not only just through, along with African-Americans, but Afro-Caribbeans as well. My country, we got rid of slavery. We are the creators of liberty. So when I'm told I can only celebrate in February, it's a bit of a, an insult but a, a chance to educate. Black history is not a, a, a one-year thing. It's not a February thing. It's a lifetime thing. Sheldon, beautiful story. Yeah. Thank you. I loved putting this story together. Um, as you guys know, my family's from the Caribbean. My mom's side is from Grenada. My dad's side's from Haiti. And a lot of times, Caribbean people get left out of conversations about black history. But mm -hmm. we are contributing just as much as everybody else. So uh, it's so nice that Patrick was willing to talk with us. His work is on display right now at the Orange County Administration Building as well. It just left Cray all day and moved over to downtown Orlando. So oh, uh, it's all over. And he's got his studio in Longwood. So. Oh, OK, great. He's Wonderful. in Seminole County. Excellent, Sheldon. Thank you.